Hi guys, how's everyone doing? This video is going to be about how I clip, sort, and organize my coupons and the way that I came up with that works best for me. Now my way may not work best for you. Your way may be perfected. You might not need any changes, but if it is, I'm just wanting to offer a different way that it can be done because when I I've, I've seen several different people do several different methods, and you basically have to do what works best for you. I've tried, I think this is like my fourth different type of organization method. I've always liked to clip mine, but it was just a matter of trying to figure out the way to organize them best that suited me. So the first thing I did, I ordered this Kaset D ring, four inch D ring binder, and I saw 29, excuse me, 29 Luana is who showed me this. She had a, um, when she first got hers, she made a video showing her binder. And when I saw it, I was thinking that's exactly what I needed. It came off of Amazon.com for about $25 to $30, somewhere in there. And it is worth absolutely every penny that I spent on it. Okay, it's got several different features. So let me go through and kind of show you. The first feature is this little strap right here you can carry it kind of like a briefcase as well i call it sometimes this is my briefcase it has everything you know that i'm going out that's what i'm working with right there so this is my case it briefcase the next thing it has is this nice little shoulder strap it's kind of long and it's adjustable you can adjust it to whatever length this is um the length that's for me it's padded little shoulder strap thingy throw it on your shoulder when you hit the store and hey you're rolling the next little feature is this front little zipper now this is not very deep this is really shallow can't really put a whole lot in there i don't use it that often only thing i throw in there i might shove a couple of receipts in there um like if i want to put them to the side so that i don't lose them especially if i want to use them for a rebate or something like that sometimes i might stick a couple of coupons in there but the thing is i just have to remember that they're in there because i don't use this pocket that often because on the outside it's not very deep so that's but that's a nice little feature to have also Another thing I'm going to show you real quick, it has this little, where's the zipper? This little feature where you can unzip it before without having to open the whole thing. And the reason you can do that is because it has this little file section in here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. And my binder is really full right now. But if you can get in there, if you just want to grab something quick, if you're looking for your store policy if you got it right there bam there it is if you want to dig through there and try to find out find some restaurant coupons they're in there as well so without having to open up the whole binder i do that every now and then okay so that's that now let me get it open again i'm working with one hand so i'm sorry if i'm moving around a whole lot let me just get it undone this book is huge so Again, let me show you this. This is the this is the file section. It's got the little Velcro section. And like I said, I have a spot back here. It's like five different little sections. Back here, I don't even have anything in that back back spot. But I have some printables I haven't clipped. I have a spot for uh, my circulars for the weed store ads. I have a spot for restaurant coupons. There's a spot for... Um, uh, store policies and then I have some a spot for some extra supplies that are sitting up there So and then you can just close that back up the next little thing this little first pocket is where I keep my supplies This is just a mesh made out of mesh nothing special But I could keep some keep my scissors in there my little tab for my page tabs I got some markers and highlighters in there as well Those are my supplies that I'm using when I'm clipping Okay, so another spot over here i put in here and i had this little thing from before this is just a one of those little pencil holder things that you get from doing back to school time or probably in the school supply section but what i have in here or are um say like coupons that don't fit in the um the pockets the, the tab the card holders i got some cvs extra card um cvs cash cards in here and some other just little things like that mostly the coupons because i try to keep it all sorted out Okay, the next little thing that I have in here and I use these tabs for, I have three different um, CVS cards in my household that I work with. So I got each of them separated 
the extra bucks separated. So that when I'm in the store, I don't want to be all confused and saying, you know, trying to use extra care bucks for one card on another. Because, you know, at CVS, you can't do that. And normally, I usually have a lot more than this per card. But right now, they're all on those gift cards, which is good because they don't expire. Only downside for me is I still have to pay, ta I pay tax on the gift cards. Okay, the next spot I get to... You'll see these are coupons that are not in that didn't come in an insert, meaning um, they may have came in the newspaper like the parade magazine or if it's an extra little coupon page that's in the um, paper, but not necessarily in an insert. Those coupons are in here. I have um, hang tags in here. I have peelies in here. Coupons, again, that did not come in an insert. Those are in this little section. Uh, yeah, and that's quite a few. Magazines, if I catch some in a magazine, like some of these came out of the Walgreens magazine. Some of those are in there um, and that. And let me show you this real quick. Speaking of Walgreens, I went ahead and I, those booklets, now that's just the front cover of it. But what I did was I ripped out all the pages and I put a rubber band on them and I stuck them in here. See, that's the coupons in there instead of trying to keep up those books. Because I couldn't figure out what to do with them things. They were everywhere. But um, back to <laughs> back to the binder. Now, what I do is I take the front page of the insert and see it already has a name on there and I just write the date. And once I do that, I put it in one of these, which is just a page protector, killer page, page protector. And I have a tab on it so I know what's the beginning of the, what the beginning of the insert is. And then as I'm clipping my coupons, I only touch them one time. Once I clip them, I put them in here and I'm done. I don't clip them and then organize them and then have to go back and put them in certain pockets I, I i hate it when i say i despise that that was just awful to me that was a bad experience but yeah all i do is as i'm cutting them i'm putting them in here and i put it in put it in the binder because usually this these are open so as i get a full page i put it in there and on to the next one and i do that until i'm done with that insert and i do that for each and every one of them it's like this is the smart source for that week so that's in there. Now, if I have a coupon that um, was on the back of one of these, say, for instance, like like this one. That was a coupon at the top, so I end up cutting the name off. Again, I just write it on here, write what it is. Like, I wrote Smart Source, and I wrote the date again. And all I do is just clip the coupons and put it behind that. Now, what else you have to do is use a coupon database. I use southernsavers.com. I use that database simply because that was one of the first ones that I was – you know, use when I first started couponing, and I'm used to it. I have it bookmarked on my phone, so if I'm in the store, I can pull it up with ease. Now, you can use whatever coupon database you're used to using, whatever works for you is great, it's great as long as you're able to find your coupons because it'll tell you what insert and it'll tell you what date. So, say for instance, if it said, you know, Smart Source 3 3, I could go right here, you know, by the tab. You know, you got to thumb through to the tab, but you don't have to thumb through each page. You're just looking at those little tabs up top. Go to Smart Source 3 3, and I flip through whatever four or five pages, sometimes six pages, and that's it. And I find my coupon. So I know it should be in there. And if I got an empty spot for it, then I, you know, maybe I use it already, you know. So that works great for me. There's only been maybe like once or twice that. I couldn't find a coupon that I know was valid because other people in my area are talking about they have this coupon. This one I did. And then, but then you ask people, when did it come out? Oh, a week or so ago. So then I know. That gives me a general idea. But again, that maybe has only happened to, I think, twice. Otherwise, the database works great. On the other variance with the database is, say, for instance, my area may have gotten a 50-cent coupon. They may have a 75-cent coupon listed. But that's just a regional thing. So, But otherwise, this method works great for me. So when I get ready to clean my binder out, normally I start in the back. I'll go all the way to the back. Let me get there. And I'll, but the reason I start in the back is because usually those are the ones that are getting ready to expire or expiring first. So I just clean them out. So like with this insert from December 2nd, I'm down to this last one page of these. And some of these are probably getting ready to expire at the end of this month. I do my binder once a month as far as cleaning it out unless it's just getting really, really full. Because I don't like to spend a lot of time organizing my binder. I, I just, I'd rather sit there once a month when I got a free evening or, you know, just some free time. And I'll sit there and I'll dig it. I usually I try to do it at the beginning of the month or at the end you know right around the that's pretty much around the same time so that i can get rid of whatever is expired for that month 
so don't have it now once they when i get down to this if all these expire i mean if all the yeah if all these are expired except for maybe one or two then i take those last two and i put it in the back back here under the tabs see i still have three tabs i got food and grocery i have health and beauty and i have a household tab so that's where i put like whatever grocery doesn't matter what insert it came in i put it back here and when I go to look for it, if the database tells me it's in an insert and I go there and I don't have it anymore, that tells me to look in the back back here. Because nine times out of ten, this is where it has to be. Because I don't have any other place, you know, for it. Yeah. And again, I just had to get rid of all those categories and subcategories. I don't have a lipstick and a makeup and a hairspray and a toothpaste. That, oh my gosh. I don't know how some people do it. <laughs> and the last little spot back here is just um, this little mesh little pocket. Um, I really don't keep too much back here. These are just some old receipts that I had that are in there. Um, you can use it for whatever, though. If you want to, whatever you need to put in your binder, you do that. I just wanted to show you guys this in hopes that it may help somebody else because, again, I watched a lot of different people. And I kind of combined some things that I saw other people doing. I didn't, I haven't seen anybody doing this. And I'm not saying that there isn't anybody else doing it because I'm pretty sure somebody else may have come up with it. But if not, I just wanted to share with you guys and show you that. And then I'll show you. Let me see if I can show you real quick. I know this video has gotten long. I didn't want it to go super long. But this is, I don't take my big binder in the store all the time. I have this, and it's not the tiny one. To try to see how it almost fits inside about the width of my my binder but it fits well in my purse so what i do normally i try to be well organized when i'm going in the store i try to be well organized when i'm going in the store i already have my transaction scenarios written down i have all my coupons clipped and they're in this little thing so what i'll do is i'll put them in here and each store has a um a tab now most of the tabs are falling off but i know what's on there like aberson's the front is in alphabetical order now i have a spot in here where i put my um oh again trying to do this with one hand guys work with me these are some coupons that are for freebies like i have a lot of peelies that i found for the poise in here um the regular poise from the paper the new ones that just came out um, I have my little Aberson's had the little Monopoly game going on. So those are the little tabs. I mean, the little things I'm going to turn in once I get in the store. I have my CVS going on. Oh, that's the Aberson's. I got CVS, Target, Kroger, Walgreens, Walmart, HEB. Um, all my local stores are in there. So that's what I use when I go in the store. Now, if I'm in the store and I run across something that's on sale and I want to know if I got a coupon for it that's when i pull my phone out and i'll look it up now if it's a good coupon i'll take my cart to the front and i'll say hello i'll hold this and i'll be right back and i run out there and i'll get my binder and i'll bring it in sometimes i'll just go out there and grab the coupon and come out because usually i know what i'm going in for so that way i don't have to take the whole binder in with me all the time especially on those little quick ones you don't want to have to lug your binder in you want to be as organized as possible when you get to the register it's one of the things that i've learned in the beginning to be as organized as possible your transaction at your time at the register will go by so much better you won't spend a lot of time holding up the line you won't spend a lot of time trying to dig out coupons while you know you just want to be organized but anyway guys i'm gonna end this thing now because it's gotten really long and i think i've held you guys up enough but i just want to thank you for watching and again i hope this helps somebody because i just think it's a really great way to to do this so again thanks for watching you all have an awesome awesome day and i will holler at you later bye